people! Welcome aboard. I was just, uh, down there getting this hot sauce. That's right. That's me, people. This is three years ago today. That's right, see? Where is he? Where is he, the Captain Tommy Scoville? There he is, ducking down, doing a line on his recovery channel, sober channel, which, by the way, he says is not a recovery channel anymore. Well, I mean, he's openly getting high, and I don't know, people. I mean, we've said it all already. What else can I say? Well, I could say a lot, and this is just the first video today. So if I fuck this one up, we'll be back two more times. Yeah, happy anniversary, toots. I didn't make another batch of the hot sauce this year. This is actually uh, from the original batch, um, the first anniversary. Um, actually, no. Yeah, this is right when you did it. This was bottled October 16th, 2021. You know, you did that line on uh, September 30th, 2021. And what fun times it's been since then, huh? As you can see behind me, people, there's my monkey. And up here, there's my other monkey. It's my Reese's Gollywog. That's right. Monkey Gollywog. Toots. Ah, so, what can we say today? <sighs> Happy anniversary, Toots. Um, we all know the story. You know, of, uh, oh, ah, yeah. I need money for cold medicine, please, please. I'm Captain Tommy Scoville of the Lie Boat. Ah, remember this prop? Yeah, this is a Florida prop. Hey, we'll auction it off. We'll auction this off, this bottle, maybe the hat, or maybe not, but anyway. Yeah. Happy anniversary, Toots. It's good to see that now you've been outed as the complete sex offender that you are. That's right, folks. Brett Allen Miller, a.k.a. Captain Tommy Scoville. He's guilty of a sex offense. Now, I don't know if you want to call him a registered sex offender. I will not verify if he's currently registered, but he is a sex offender. You know? In 1992, he pled guilty to sexual assault upon a 15-year-old girl. It's public record. I mean, we've posted it. I mean, put it all out there. It's up to you. But um, his brother, Johnny Scoville, likes to promote uh, the Captain Tommy, though. Sending people over to his channel to get help with uh, recovery. Or if you have something in your past that you want to put behind you, there's no judgment over there. Yeah, how can there be? It's run by a sex offender. Who, who are they going to judge? So if you're a sex offender or some other horrible person, go over to the lie boat. Johnny says it's good. Fucking. You're ridiculous, both of you. Now I'm going to start to get off track here and end up having to stop this video. But just know that I'm going to be back later, and I'll put something a little bit more coherent together. But this fucking guy is a sex offender. And Johnny Scoville promotes him, pushes his shit out, pushes it out to all his people. He tells his own people that he's family friendly, yet he sends you over to this fucking guy for help with addiction. This guy is actively getting high. He admits that he, you know, uses THC drinks alcohol, takes methadone or Suboxone. Uh, he said that he relapsed on Valium, but he didn't lose his sobriety date. Like, it's totally fucking crazy. And he's a sex offender. And they will block anybody that mentions it, asks about it, any of that. Just like anybody that asked about what, uh, what uh, old Toots was doing when he did that 15 seconds. So... If you follow Johnny Scoville, or Tommy Scoville, or the League of Fire for that matter, 
I want nothing to do with you. You can just keep me on your blacklist. <laughs> You're all supporting a sex. You know, this fucking clown, Johnny Scoville, Kurt, he's reading off phony fucking questions. He says he got some questions from the bus, emails, all about the blacklist. Somebody writes, is there a blacklist in the Chile community? Who's on the blacklist? Not only that, but how does somebody get off the blacklist? Like, that's totally fucking made up. I could see somebody asking you, hey, is there a blacklist in the Chile community? But all these follow-up questions and how does somebody get off the blacklist? I mean, please. He says he's seen the blacklist. Like he is the chili community. You know, a, a week or two ago, he made up some phony questions because somebody else put up a video about the warthog or some other, how he was doing reviews and acting and overacting and all that. You know, today that fucking cuck Kurt knows that today is the anniversary of the old fuck that guy. So he comes out yesterday and he says he's got these things, uh, questions from the bus. How can I, somebody get off the blacklist? What's the blacklist? You, you know, maybe hoping, hoping that Andy, the family man over here, is gonna, you know, see the light and say, you know what? I repent. I am wrong. I can't be this way. I don't think so, buddy. It's gonna get worse. Um, you, Johnny Scoville, actively promote and support your sex offender brother, who now is not even about recovery, he's all about P. Diddy, salacious sexual, sexual talk, and really not family friendly stuff, but you go ahead and send your people over there, and anybody who's following him, you're fucking dead to me. You know, I never want anything to do with you. I am not in the Chile community, and it doesn't, so it doesn't really matter. But keep sending your shit. Keep backing up Johnny Scoville and the international terrorist organization that is the League of Fire. You know, they support Johnny Scoville. They, um, you know, back him, backing his sex offender brother. And uh, the other cloud, uh, Chris the Shovel Unit Fragile, who makes death threats, terroristic threats of arson, violence, uh, scatological sexual threats to people that wear uh, this shirt here. Hold on, we're gonna turn it right side out. Have to keep it nice, you know. Yeah, on June 8th, um, Chris Fregali, Fragile, he made a threat, open threat on YouTube during a League of Fire challenge. So, all the people that wear this shirt, that means fuck that guy. This goatee, the braided goatee, that uh, symbolizes Johnny Scoville. Well, he made uh, open threats. Uh, uploaded his video without audio in the back part of it, and the League of Fire gave him points anyway, with no audio. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. So they are an international terrorist organization. If you don't like it, go report this video. I, I don't give a fuck. I am not in the Chile community, and I'm going to start upping my game, really. Um, I'm still waiting for that fat fuck to come over here and threaten me and do what he said he, uh, you know, he threatened that uh, somebody's gonna beat your ass with a shovel um, and that he's going to burn everything I love to the ground. So is he gonna come over here with gasoline or a shovel or something else, you know, and cause me to have to escalate things so that I end up getting arrested and going to jail for, you know, felon in possession of a firearm or who knows. But it's enough. I mean, League of Fire, you support it. Johnny Scoville, Kurt Miller, you support sex offenders and uh, the shovel unit and the racist Shahina Wasim, you know, always crying. Fuck, oh, racism. Oh, I'm a victim. You fucking horse-faced bitch. 
That's right. I said it. I can say whatever the fuck I want because I am not in the Chili community. And there's going to be more. And I'm going to be back later. That's about it. How long? Ten minutes! Oh, no! I have shit to do. Well, let me get going, people. Happy anniversary! I need money for cold medicine! And fuck that guy!